What is going on everybody? It's boy Scotty here and I am back. The A-Leg is back tonight. Let's go. So keen for that. I thought I'd just jump on and do a quick video. I am in my work clothes. I am currently wearing yellow, which is surprisingly enough the team that's playing tonight. Wellington Phoenix is playing Sydney FC tonight at 7.30. You guys are probably going to see this within an hour or two of the actual game starting. So if you're watching this later, the A-Leg is back and the first game is back. I am tipping a draw in that one. I believe it will probably be... Uh, a few goals in it each. I think the defense probably won't be as amazing as what it was before. Uh, maybe a 2 2 draw. But basically, I thought I'd jump on here. Basically, hype up the A League being back. Uh, also, let you a bit of know a few news, or a bit of news, uh, about some of the stuff that's going on with the Brisbane Raw and some of the stuff that happened. Uh, it's currently 5 15 or so p.m. on the Friday, so I am done for the work week. So, keen to see some A League and. Luckily enough for me, I am on call for Monday, so I don't have to be in there at 3 a.m. or I'm, I said so the earliest I'll be on call for is 6:30. So I have got tickets to go to the Sea uh, Bus game. I was going to say Sea Bus game, the Brisbane Raw vs Adelaide United. I'm so keen to see the boys back. It will be actually absolutely great game. Hopefully, come away with a victory there. Uh, and I'm going to just say what what am I going to be doing sort of each week. I'm going to try to do some a few videos where I sort of like review their rule game and also review some of the A League um, games throughout the week. And I know it's going to be hard because there's 27 games or 28 games in 27 days, or something crazy like that. Or 27 no, 27 games in 28 days. That's the thing. So there's one there's one game a uh, one day where there's no games. So that's going to be a uh, one day where probably everyone has a bit of a relax and be like, all right, kick my feet up now. I don't have to watch A League. It is only one game per day, so that's why it's always the 7:30 game or a 6 p.m. depending if it's New Zealand or Wellington. Uh, which we do have. I do know there is one game that has changed. I don't know the day off the top of my head, but it's moved from a. I think it's moved from either a Tuesday or moved from a Thursday to a Wednesday. It's the Melbourne Victory game. Uh, so as it stands, there is all the games are still currently uh, in New South Wales for us, apart from the one game at Sea Bus. But who knows? Obviously, the uh, coronavirus is going pretty bad right now in New South Wales. So there is talk that all the games possibly could be moved to Queensland. But in saying that, with the A League. Uh, well, the NRL already um, moving teams up here. The a AFL might even move teams up here. If the A-League does as well, it's going to be pretty hard. So I I'd say it probably will stay the same, but uh, just New South Wales and Queensland. Uh, with finals, who knows what will going to happen then. But in saying that, there is a bit of news. There is that we have a new head coach, and that man is Warren Moon. What a signing that is for us. He's He's got, uh, if you don't know, he was a, uh, a player in our original squad, our foundation squad. And there is a funny photo of him where uh, he had a bit of a photo shoot on his first season. I think it was 2005 and he's got the ball and he's sort of like going like this. Uh, but uh, he's the coach for us. He, if you didn't know, he was the Brisbane Royal Football Academy Academy coach. He was also uh, MPL uh, Lions coach a few seasons ago where he uh, brought uh, two championships to the team. And from that team, there was a player called Danny Kim. And Danny Kim has just been signed for the Brisbane Raw on at least a, a, a loan for the end of the season. Who knows what will happen after that. But he is a... Sort of a centre mid, box to box, uh, also a defensive midfielder. Has played at the back before when uh, Warren Moon needed him at Lions. So gives a bit of a uh, versatility there and a bit of stability to the team. See, we did lose Jacob Pepper as well as Aiden O'Neill. You're sort of thinking there's two players there. We didn't really replace Pep before. This is probably replacing for O'Neill. We did sign another player for our midfield strengths, and this is Matthew Rudenson. Did play for, uh, I think it was Wallace Phoenix back in the day. He was at Newcastle Jets this season. Uh, he's played 100-something games for the A-League, five games for the All-Whites, so he's a New Zealand international. I don't know if he comes under the foreign player or not, but he is on uh, for the rest of the season. Who knows about in the future? Warren Moon is on for the rest of the season, and then possibly next season. Well, I'm not sure. It didn't say the article, but Darren Davies looks like he'll be the assistant. There was a story that came out through the week saying that Darren Davies got the job, but uh, that was just fake news by the looks of it because Brisbane Raw have come out and said that uh, Warren Moon's the coach, so I'm absolutely ecstatic. He's going to bring probably a lot of... He's got, he's got a lot of players that he knows uh, through the youth ranks and stuff, being the academy coach. So we might see a lot more younger players going to go. We might see some MPL players going to go, uh, like we saw with Danny Kim as well. So uh, anything else that I've got to say on my mind? Uh, we also do have some major announcement that's coming on Saturday. So I will talk about that probably when I review the Raw game. Hopefully, I, I, I'm i pretty busy these days working like 45, 50 hour weeks as well as going to the gym and going to my own football games and stuff like that. I play for two teams this season and then also, yeah, just trying to live so much of a social life. So I might just jump on every five minutes every now and then, just try to jump on, give a bit of a review and a bit of a news update and stuff like that. Let me know if you enjoyed this type of video. Uh, but the A-League is back in a bit under two hours or so, or probably time you see this, a bit under two hours. So 
get keen for it. Let me know what your thoughts and your predictions for the game this weekend. Uh, prediction for the, this weekend's game, I'm predicting a 2-1 to the Brisbane Roar. I will think that Mirza Moradovic will score hit the first goal of the game and Scott McDonald will score the second one. Uh, I am predicting us to finish, hopefully, fourth, and we still are there. But as long as we make finals, I was, I was happy at the start of the season. I was, if we can make finals, it's a successful season. But obviously, I want to go. Us, I want us to go on and hopefully do better in the actual season and the finals and hopefully win it in the end. I, be, I believe that we can do it. I think, that we, I think the squad that we have can do it. And any day, we can beat any team that we come up against. So I hope you like this video. Remember to comment, like, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace. Pack yourself in the eye. <laughs>